Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Matt Smith, Hi. Um, trainer of Craig Poxton. Yeah. Um, just going to talk to you a little bit about his last camp and how things were different, like with the hand injury. When did you first spot that he was he, had, he was struggling with the, with the hand? Um, well, the the hand obviously has been an issue uh, since he fought Kazim Hussain in 2014. So, you know, it was. Uh, you know, one of those problems that you just sort of have to work through. Um, and he did 10 rounds with George Jupp. And uh, obviously, you know, after that, it was apparent that, you know, yeah. this is not going to get any better. Um, so we went through the correct channels of, you know, getting him sorted out. We saw an orthopedic surgeon um, and who said that, you know, had he had been a you know, a hobbyist boxer, they would have basically told him to just pack up. Right. But being a professional boxer, you know, they were, they, they were prepared to, uh, you know, do the surgery on it and uh, move the tendon back where, where it should have been. Um, so, so that was done. Um, so, you know, for a normal person, that, that healing process would have taken X amount of time. Obviously, we can't give it, you know, he's had to get back to punching, you know, as soon as he's safe sort of thing, but it's still wasn't a hundred percent um so yeah it, it, it's uh it's a case of uh you know we, we've had to go very gently and build it up gradually um you know i mean it's still swollen now um so it's one of those where you know we're still kind of working yeah. working through it as best as possible with with camp obviously he's back in camp again now for yeah november the 20th november um, the 20th yeah yeah. How have you adjusted to train? Have you sort of had to get him to do different things, or totally? Yeah. I mean, uh, for the fight, um, for the fight he just had at the halls uh, against Michael Stupart, um, training for that. I mean, that was only just a four-round fight to bounce back. You know, yeah. after having nine or ten months out um, and you know uh, having surgery, it was just a, a simple four-rounder. Four to, uh, to, to get back in the ring. Um, but the main things are we've just had to forego one or two things that we used to do a lot of, yeah. um, i.e., you know, we, we used to do a, a lot of sprint work on the pads. Um, things like, uh, you know, we, we might do 10 rounds, 12 yeah. rounds maybe on the pads, and it's, a, you know, round one, 10 punch sprints at the, at the sprint at the start, 10 punch sprint at the end, round yeah, two yeah. is 20 and 20, round three is 30 and 30, right. all the way up to 100 plus, so it's, you know, three minute round on the pads with, with, with 200 punches on sprints. Now, that permanent hammer, you know, has just obviously not been sensible to do. Um, punch bag sprints, you know, basically the, the cardio from punch and sprint work we've had to forego. Um, does it really matter? Well, not really, because you just adjust and do other yeah, things. Exactly. You know, his fitness has never been an issue. I mean, everyone commented with the jump fight how he looked fresh in yeah. the tenth round. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, I believe that you know, with these adjustments, he'll still be just as fresh. Ten, twelve round fights will be no problem for him. You know, we, wh wh whether the hand gets to the stage where we can go back to those yeah, that sprint yeah, work, yeah. you know, because it is such high intensity. It's it's, it's good work for the cardio. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that. But if we can't, we can't. We we'll just do other stuff. We, we're, we're blessed with being on the coast, and we've got the beach to yeah, run so on. Can, lots yeah. and lots of sprint work, running instead. Um, you touched on it, the jump fight. Um, everyone had that sort of fairly close. We haven't actually had the trainer's point of view on it yet. Um, <laughs> how did you see the fight like, on the night, and then since watching it back, was it? Any I, yeah, as you can or? imagine, I've watched it quite a few times now. You know, uh, on the day, you sort of think, yeah, it's it's pretty close. But after analysing it, you know, I, I, I thought that Craig won it fairly yeah. comfortably. You know, in all honesty, I, I thought he. Uh, he, he pushed him back every round, um, had him on the ropes. That was always the plan. We, we worked on a pressure fighting style. We wanted to take George Jump boxing away from him, get past his reach, put him on the ropes and keep him there. And Craig done a fantastic job of doing that. Um, and when you listen to the commentary, you, you know, it doesn't make any difference, you know, uh, because they're, they're not scoring the fight. Um, no. But, you know, the, the, the commentators uh, ha had Craig winning. You know, you, you watch the video and the Matchroom Sport highlights between each round, the bulk of it was Craig getting to work. These things tell you something. Um, I think it's a difficult job in, a, in an area title fight. Yeah. The, re the referee is the sole judge. Um, it's a difficult job to do. There was a bad cut 
clash of heads, Craig got a, had a bad cut on the forehead, there was a lot of blood. So, you know, the, the referee's got that on his mind as well, when to get the doctor in, whether to stop the fight or not, all these things, uh, you know. Um, so, it, it, it's just boxing, it's just one of those things. It, it, it was close, two rounds, um, yeah. you know. There we um, go, we'll come again. Yeah, exactly. You say we'll come again. After seeing Craig in that in an opportunity and fighting for a title, it has to show that he is a championship level 100%, fighter. Yeah, yeah. The, the good thing was, I mean, Craig uh, had only been in, in four round fights up to that st stage. He did in his early career uh, when, he, when he first ever started out some years ago. I think he'd, he'd done the six twos, but you know, he'd, he'd uh, ne ne never been past. Um, you know, four threes, and going from f since he came back and uh, trained at our gym, you know, the, the fights were, were well. He had six threes uh, with yeah. Jack Heath, but he, <laughs> yeah. he got the early stoppage on that one. So, so um, yeah, we were very pleased to see that the ten rounds wasn't a problem. You know, I think George Jubb had been in ten round fights two, three times, yeah. something yeah. like that. So we didn't have that luxury, but. Uh, yeah, obviously we're blessed to have some good sparring. Um, you know, we're, we're you know we're able to kick stop sparring with Ron Walsh and all the lads, etc., etc. Um, so if you can do it in sparring, you know, put it on the night. Yeah, we do it in the ring. So yeah, the the, the ten rounds was uh, was was not an issue, conditioning wise. Well, there we go. That's the words of Matt Smith. And uh, grab an opportunity to watch Craig at a local show, being up and close. Really, twentieth of November, because it won't yep. be long before we see him. Well, I'm sure we'll see him back in big arena fights and fighting for titles again. Yeah, we would hope so. Yeah, um, you know that, that's obviously what we're aiming for. As, as you've rightly said, he, uh, he he looks like he belonged in that ring at championship level. Yeah. So if the Southern Area title pops up again, I believe that George. Well, I know that George Jupp has vacated that Southern Area belt. Uh, he's got signed by Frank Warren, um, and is now scheduled to fight Mitchell Smith, which yeah. is a, which is a rather tasty fight. Um, so at Super Featherweight, the, the Southern Area title is vacant. Um, He'll fight at home uh, November, as you say. Um, if we can get the support, you know, we'd like to perhaps do, you know, a, a six round or even an eight if the support is there, you know, uh, and just move him up a bit and uh, come early next year. We'll see what happens. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for your time. Okay. Matt, and Thanks very much. See you again soon.